Revelation deals with the dealing of the adversary and the judgment of the world, the removing of the old to bring the new. Revelation is a revealing of the mysteries and an opening of what was closed. Revelation is the bridge to the kingdom. Hebrews 9, 8 says the Holy Ghost, thus signifying that the way into the Holy of All was not yet made manifest while the first tabernacle was standing. Hebrews 10 verse 9, He come to remove the first to establish the second. Revelation 15 8 is where it happened. The temple was filled with smoke and the glory of God and from His power, and no man was able to enter the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were fulfilled. And Revelation 16 starts with, He heard a voice from the temple, pour out your plague. So we're going to deal with the adversaries. This is not what Revelation is all about, but this is where all the confusion comes in. Revelation is all about Jesus Christ, how he dealt with the dragon, the beast, and the false prophet. The adversary is called three frog spirits in Revelation 16, 13. These are lying demons and devils. The adversary is systems empowered by Satan and Satan himself. Revelation 16, 13, I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. Out of their mouths is lying. It's conspiracy theories that started in the garden. Lies, darkness is ruled with lies. These three frog spirits have all one mind and they all work together and they are fueled by none other than Satan himself. He forms part of it because the dragon, the snake, the beast, the statue or the kingdoms of the world and the false prophet, the system that finally allied with the beast to crucify the Christ or to get rid of the promised seed. If you look at these timelines, it's actually so clear to, to understand. Revelation is the bridge to the kingdom. Hebrews 9, 8 says the Holy Ghost, thus signifying that the way into the Holy of All was not yet made manifest while the first tabernacle was standing. Hebrews 10 verse 9, He come to remove the first to establish the second. Revelation 15, 8 is where it happened. The first one, the dragon. It is very important to understand who Satan is and who he is not. Revelation 12, 9 tells us the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. His angels were the demons we have to do with. Beelzebub, Luke eleven fifteen. but some of them said, he casted out devils through Beelzebub, the chief of the devils. Beelzebub is also the father of flyers and the, eventually in folklore it came down to the father of flies but it actually means those spirits, darkened spirits. Please note Satan is not Lucifer. Anybody that says Satan is Lucifer has been interpreting and preaching what other people that doesn't know what they're talking about does. So he is not Lucifer, Isaiah 14, 4. Thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How art the oppressor seized and the golden city seized? How art thou fallen from heaven? Verse 12. O Lucifer, son of the morning. When he talks about Lucifer, he's not talking about Satan. He's talking about these great nations and he called them cedars from the Lebanon of God. And they were all chopped down and they came from the garden. It's that DNA that entered man that always says, we'll do it our way. We're going to be big like God. This is why the man of perdition is also someone that said, I am like God. Revelation deals with how Jesus came to finish what he started on the cross. Why? Because they took the first covenant way past the final offering. Christ was the final offering. 
Now Satan tried his best to get rid of the infant church. And in Revelation 12, 3, he says, There appeared a wonder in heaven. Behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. You cannot read Revelation all by itself because this started in Daniel 7 when he said about this beast that had ten horns. Revelation 13, now he's got seven heads. It's Revelation 12 and he speaks about seven heads and ten horns. The ten horns are the kings, the heads are rulers. These seven heads are also found in Luke 3. Luke 3 clearly explains these seven heads. They were also the rulers in the whole book of Acts. These are the people that actually crucified Christ and they tried to kill the infant church. In the 15th year of Tiberius Caesar, Herod was the king, Pilate was a tetrarch, Philip was a tetrarch, Lysanias was a tetrarch, Annas and Caiaphas. They were riding the beast. But now in Revelation 12, 7 to 10, He says, there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought against his angels. This was a direct fulfillment of what was written in Daniel 12, because he says at the end, Michael and his angels shall fight. And he says, they prevailed not, neither was the place found in heaven anymore. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceived the whole world, and he was cast out onto the earth, and his angels were cast out with him, demons. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come the salvation and strength and kingdom of our God, and the power of his Christ, for the accuser of the brethren is cast down, which accused them before God day and night. The accuser is no more. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Revelation 12, 12, Therefore rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down to you having great wrath, because he knows that he has but a short time. When the dragon saw that he was cast into the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man-child. First the Jews persecuted the Christians, and then the persecution turned towards the Jews from Rome. They allied with Rome to take out the Christ, and at the end, Rome took out the Jews. Revelation 12, 17 And the dragon was wroth with the woman, and went to make war with a remnant of her seed which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ.